Okay, what's up guys? This is uh, Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for this topic of our Navisworks tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to export from Revit to Navisworks. Okay, so as you may already know, Navisworks will open Revit file natively. While this is a good thing, Navisworks can be very slow to open and it might take a long time to translate that file. That is what we did last time, right? While doing this also, some data doesn't quite make the jump across the transition also well. So when we physically export a Revit model to a Navisworks format, not only does all the data come across, but your Navisworks model will open much faster. Also, you can control what objects are pushed over to the Navisworks format, but turn them on and off in the view you are exporting. So in this video, I'm going to focus on preparing Revit to be exported to a Navisworks file format. Okay, so let's get started. So for you to be able to follow the exercise, I'll be using the sample project in Revit 2018 or Revit 2017 if you're using 2017 and to access that so you just need to go to the big R and then you just need to move your pointer here and then make sure you can see your sample files there so if you successfully install the Revit 2018 in your machine or 2017 you should be able to see these sample files okay so I'm going to use here the Revit structure model, the basic sample project. So we'll be able to open it uh, faster. So I'm going to select open. Okay, and by the way, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to uh, visit my blog site, learningwithreach.wordpress.com. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the 3D view. Okay, so as you can see, we now have the 3D here. Any object that is in this view will be exported. So let's say, for example, you do not want to export the floor. You do not want the, this one to be exported to Navisworks. So you just need to click that and right click. And then you can hide the, the elements. Okay, so that's it. So it's now hidden. So any elements that you hide in your 3D view, it will not be show when you export that to Navisworks. Anyway, I do not want to hide that, so I'm going to undo. So I'm just giving you an idea. Okay. Now to begin exporting, so what you can do is you just need to go to the add-ins. And then you can see here the external tools. And then you can see there the Navisworks 2017 or 2018. Okay. So I'm going to select this and you will be able to open the, the dialog box, export uh, scene as dialog box. But before that, before you save that in any folder that you want, let us go ahead some settings here. Let us check some settings of our Navisworks. Navisworks settings. Okay, so you can expand this. So you can check out these options here. You can check out the interface here, what will going to be the units, the selection, the selection color, the measure. And these are the options that you can set up before you export your Revit to Navisworks. But this is what we are looking for. Okay, Revit. So from here, let me just adjust. So you can check this thing. So basically, okay, it is important that you know the coordinate system of the authoring system such as this uh, Revit. So in this case, we do not want this to be shared. So that's why for my coordinates, I'm just going to use here or most of the time I use project internal. Okay. Now, as we look at some of the choices, you can convert link files, which is this one. So you can check that if you want. You can convert element properties. By the way, do not uh, check the convert link files, but you can click on element properties. Okay, you can check that one element properties so that any properties that you have here will be exported to your Anabisworks. Okay, if you're going to look 
down, you can see some export current view. Right, this one. So it will export your current view. So any element in this current view will be exported. But if you're going to click the drop down, you can see entire project or selection. So usually I just use their current view. Okay, so this is what's recommended, this kind of settings. Okay, so let us uncheck export room geometry. We don't need this one. Okay, and then after that, just select okay. So that's it. So you can just change the name here. Let's say this is my structural. Structural. Oops. All right. And then after that, you just need to uh, save it. All right. So once you have done all your uh, preparation, you just need to select the save button. And Navisworks will export this file. And that's really all you need to do, obviously. The larger the model, the longer this process is going to take. So I've exported some uh, simple project, this simple project, so I don't think it will take a long time, okay? But if your project is quite big, expect that it will export uh, a little bit longer than this one, okay? So I only have 883 in total that is being exported. So what will happen is Anabis Works will create a cache file, an NWC file. If you still remember during my uh, day one of my Anabis Works tutorial, I have discussed there the three types of Anabis Works file, which is NWC, NWF, and uh nwd file okay so that's it so you are now able to export your file to navisworks so if you're going to uh, take a look at that folder so i'm just going to open where did i save it so i save it on my navisworks exercise so this one so as you can see, there's your NWC, right? Okay, so it's 27 MB. So I'm going to close this one. There you go. All right. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. So if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below of this video. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to share this to your friends. Okay, and don't forget to support me. Okay, I really need your support, guys, so I can continue creating videos. Okay, and once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.